Welcome back to another Leaf Blower Revolution guide. This is the eighth guide in the series, and in this guide we'll be going through the tower. The tower has a new mechanic and a new way of progressing. So let's head over to the tower right now. The Leaf Tower requires one E11 BLC to enter. So once you've got that amount of BLC, we can click teleport and we're in the tower. Now the tower is very different as it requires damage and killing enemies to progress through the floors. We'll be going through from floor 1 to all the way up to floor 100, which is the third prestige uh, floor slash level in the game, and I'll be making a future guide on that soon. Now, the first thing that you'll notice is once you kill an enemy, you'll be gaining silver tokens. These silver tokens scale linearly, so which means when at floor 1, you kill an enemy, you'll get one silver token. At floor 2, when you kill an enemy, you'll get two silver tokens. There are two main resources that you'll be getting through the tower, which is silver tokens and gold tokens. Your gold tokens are from the bosses that you need to kill during each floor of a 10, meaning every 10, 20, 30, 40, so on, just adding 10 will be a boss floor. So let's get into it with silver tokens. Silver tokens make you be able to upgrade your play HP and regeneration. You have your leaf leaf damage upgrades which is of leaf damage which increases leaf hit damage by 500 per level we have our leaf damage multiplier which the, uh, increases leaf hit multiplier by 25 percent and then we have our item drop chance which increases item drop chance by 0.1 percent per level this is equipment and equipment is going to be one of the biggest helps in getting more damage then we have some bob taxis here we don't really need to worry about this until we're in gold token territory now, ways you can increase damage are through equipment, pets, and crafted leaves. Crafted leaves, you need cheese to craft. You need a crafted leaf with a property with da uh, blower damage in it. That will be a big help, but at the start it won't be much, but it will be a definitely big help to get through the tower. So let's go over equipment. Equipment has a very small chance to drop. So you need to upgrade in the silver token shop the item drop chance as much as you can to get your equipment. So let's go into the equipment tab, which is in the top left and looks like a shield and it's called items. In here, you'll see a vast number of different uh, equipment that do various things. So let's go from the start. You have your ALB flail, which attaches a flail to your ALBs, increasing LB damage by 2% per level. This level is how many ALB flails you have collected. Now this ALB damage is actually quite small, so this flail doesn't really do too much. Cheese boots is a nice to have, as it increases ALB speed by 1% per level, and this upgrade caps at 100. Cursed Cheese is one of the biggest and best damages. It is one of my best damage multipliers, as it, at the moment it gives me a 1.75e 16% damage boost. Now, this requires two different types of resources to actually work. You need the Curse Cheese Equipment, which you get in the tower, and then you also need Curses, which is very similar, but you get Curses from the Cheese Pub, which I'll be going over in a second. We have the Ban Hammer, which increases player damage by 0.5% per level. This player damage is just the, basically the same as Leaf Damage. We have Leaf Armor, which decreases enemy damage by 0.1% per level. This caps at 100. We have Leaf Helmet which increases player HP by 0.5% per level. We have the Leaf Shield, which um, decreases enemy damage by 5 per level. We have the Med Kit, which increases player HP regeneration rate by 1 per level. The Mini Shovel, which increases player damage by 0.05% per dig. Uh, I haven't gone over digging yet, as it is not very relevant at the moment, but basically uh, you need it for various items in the future. We have the BLC ring, which increases player damage by 0.5% every 30 BLC crunches. Uh, this is really useful as this is going to be one of your main damage starters, damage increase multipliers at the start, uh, because you've already done crunches. This will be a very big uh, help or a carry through the first 100 floors, but it depends how much time and how many BLCs you have done. There, now next we have the zoo ring, which in, gives you an additional pet slot, which will be very nice and handy. Trader's suitcase, which increases play damage by 0.5% per completed trade. And then we have the wizard hat. 
increases player damage by up to 10% per level after each prestige, the bonus value changes randomly. So one time if you prestige, you could have 1% damage increase per level, or you can have up to 10% increase per level. Now, some let's go through the gold token rewards now. Gold token rewards are where it's at in terms of it gives you ability to AFK the tower. At the moment, you're going to have to manually go through it until you get up to a certain amount of gold tokens. So at the start here, we have tear LBs, which allow your ALBs to go into the tower. I have mine off at the moment just to give you an idea of what's going on here. We have ALBs love equipment. Basically, it gives your ALBs the uh, power to pick up uh, equipment for you. We have ALBs love scrolls. Scrolls is another different good way of getting bonuses and damage. We have more tower rewards. This is going to be your go-to way of getting more silver tokens and gold tokens as uh, all your previous multipliers from the Celestial Shop and your unique leaves will give a bonus towards uh, your silver tokens and gold token reward amounts. Then we have our player HP and healthy lifestyle upgrades. Uh, usually health is not a very good upgrade to get because it is mainly all damage and how much damage you can do. We have the leaf damage gold shop one, which increases leaf hit damage by 200,000, which is great. This is very good because it will start carrying you through the later stages up to tower floor 100. Then we have leaf damage multiplier here. This increases multiplier by 50%. This is not very great, as you already have the one before in the silver token shop. You can buy this a couple times, but I'd highly recommend you saving up for the 200,000 leaf damage upgrade as fast as you can. So, as I said before, another way, uh, as before with the, the multiplier awards from that upgrade in the gold shop, is from your unique leaves, especially the bone leaf, which 400% enemy rewards. You need to have that equipped. You also would need to have equipped in the pet shop. I'm going to show you the best pets for this, for the tower, which is going to be Butterflyo, Caddo, Crabbo, and Fisho. You can have any of these, but the three main ones I would highly recommend you get is Butterflyo, Caddo, and Crabbo. Crabbo is a really good one as it increases your global blowing damage by 50%. You want Caddo, which increases enemy resources rewards by 200%, and you want Butterfly, which increases your other two pets by 20%. Now, you want crafting. Crafting is a good way of getting additional damage as well, so you can go down into the crafting and do all that. Uh, another one of your main ways that to get additional rewards of silver tokens and gold tokens through that upgrade in the gold shop is your celestial shop of worthy enemies. I would highly recommend you get seeds for celestial leaves, even though it may take you a while. I would highly recommend you get a, a lot of worthy enemies, as you could get over two, three, four, five times the amount of silver and gold tokens than you would normally get, which is going to be the main way of actually progressing through the tower. I'm just going to quickly reset my tower uh, floor here, just in case I go over floor 100 and spoil anything or there. Now there's a couple of areas that we need to go over to actually get to curses for one of the bigger ways of getting damage. First we need to get 500 bulbs and we want to unlock the cheese pub which requires 500 bulbs to get there. In here there are five main things. We have the bartender, the bulb claw machine, the leaf counter, the slots and the curse machine. The only three that we need to focus on at the moment is the slots, the leaf counter and the bulb claw machine. In the bulb claw machine, we can get cheese, leaves, materials, bulbs, and equipment. But the main thing we want to be focusing on here is curses. We want to go down, click it like a normal claw machine, and get curses. These curses will actually will act with the cursed cheese in actually giving you a multiplier of damage. Keep in mind that the bulb claw machine and the slots require cheese to operate. Next is the leaf counter. The leaf counter basically means that every time you count, your damage will increase by 0.01% per count. That doesn't seem a lot, but over time and with a certain upgrade that I'll be going over with you in the future very shortly, uh, it is actually it will accumulate all the way up to about a thousand x multiplier on your damage, 
100 X, depending on how many counters you have. The slots is just an AFK version of the claw bulb claw machine. The next area such uh, item that we need to get to help with crafting leaves and trading and damage is going to be mulch. To get mulch, we need to go to the tool shop and we need to purchase the leaf sword for 5e15 lava leaves. To do that, you get the leaf sword and you want to start cutting leaves, which give you mulch. Now in the mulch shop, there is quite a few upgrades here, but we will only want to be focusing on the leaf counter macro, which per level per minute gives you one count. So one max, this gives you five counts a minute. We want crafting hammer as much as we can, which increases the chance of getting crafted rarer leaves, which give you a higher bonus in damage. And then we can just do whatever crafting levels we want here. And we also want the claw machine upgrades and mulch machine upgrades. First, we want to do the cursed pub, which means that when you get a cursed cheese inside your claw machine, it means that you'll be getting more than one at a time. We want to level that up. We also want mulch claw, which increases the claw pickup range by one, and then insert more mulch, which increases the minimum maximum amount of bonus items in the bulb claw machine by one. Basically, there'll be more items in the claw machine to be able to pick up. Then we have the mulch, sl uh, mulch slots, which basically means after a certain amount of spins, you're guaranteed a good reward. Uh, with the crafting, I have very high level and very future content leaves here, but you want to have blow enemy damage here. We can see this with an ancient leaf, which is past uh, quite a bit of in the future, but you can see the multipliers here, which is blower enemy damage percent and blower energy and uh, blower enemy damage flat. You want both of those if possible, uh, but either one will give you a nice healthy bonus to get damage. So let's head back over to the tower. But once we go back to the tower, we want to keep farming those silver tokens and gold tokens as much as we can. We also want to level up the item drop chance of our equipment so we can get more equipment, which means more and more damage. So I'll show you some unique tricks that will help you with the bosses. So once we get to a boss, we want to go into our artifacts and use the gravity ball and the wind. Gravity ball and wind are very nice as as we can see here the boss is always going to spawn in the center so we use the ball to attract every single um leaf that we have and go it into the boss dealing the maximum amount of damage we can we can combine that with the wind meaning that we'll have a constant stream of damage going into the boss as for about five seconds as long as the wind and the gravity orb stay um, activated this, this part of the game tower may take a while depending on the bonuses and what you have, but you're just going, going to want to continue farming silver tokens and gold tokens and mainly leveling up your leaf damage as well. Another thing to note down is that you want to up, uh, purchase these bulb taxis as well as this will be helpful for your AFK as this, this part of the game becomes much easier when you're able to afk this game and use your alb's so you want to continually going up and up and up through the floor floor levels continually upgrading and all that and then once you get up to tower floor 100 once you beat tower floor 100 you that is the maximum floor that we can get at the moment and you will be killing the guy the wizard named bob now once you've killed Bob, a new portal will be unlocked. This portal will be called the MLC or the Mega Leaf Crunch. The Mega Mega Leaf Crunch is a third prestige layer, but there are things that you need to do beforehand to get the most out of your MLC. Now, this is it for the guide. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below uh, and make sure you please like and subscribe in the video. I'll catch you later.